I think anyone who, who takes seriously the profession of being a professor or a teacher, you know, has to enjoy giving knowledge, and not just any kind of knowledge, knowledge that's useful to people. Uh, the reason I went into the field I did, which is Middle Eastern history, was because it is a very relevant field. It's something that even if we're talking about the past from hundreds of years ago, still if you teach it right, you can get the, the people in the class to understand the relevance of what you're teaching for today. So, you know, even if you're teaching history, if you do it right, all history becomes a history of the present. To me, it has some relation to the present today, perhaps not if you're teaching ancient Near Eastern or ancient uh, Mayan history, but in fact, even those, you know, are the beginnings, the roots, the foundations of a process which are actually very relevant today, and, and especially in, in, a, in a field like the Middle East, in a situation where we have so many misconceptions about how what happened thousands of years ago is still relevant today. The whole history of the region and of Islam and Judaism and Christianity, even at their very beginnings thousands of years ago, is still very important for today. So for me, the most important and, and the, the most enjoyable part is to help people understand how all these events which happened so long ago or happened only a few months ago can help us understand both what's happening today and help us understand what might happen in the future. And then from there, I think the, the next important thing, just as a human being, is to want to get people to use that knowledge to help shape their own future and our common future in a you know, healthier, more sustainable way. If you're teaching in a field like the Middle East, you know, understanding the history and what's produced today is, is the absolute prerequisite for figuring out how to change a situation which no matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, in what culture, almost everyone agrees needs to change and needs to move to a different dynamic so that we can have a much healthier relationship with each other and with the planet, since in the Middle East we're ultimately talking about oil and petroleum, and, uh, which is so involved in so many of the um, problems that are destroying the planet that we're living on. So, you know, that's, I guess, you get, I get enjoyment in many levels, and I think I'm lucky in one sense that I get to teach a topic which is so relevant and which, you know, so many people are interested in. On the other hand, it makes it quite difficult because it is so politicized, and trying to teach it objectively becomes difficult in an environment where even what you know to be the most objective understanding of history or of the present, which is always imperfect, but even what you know as a scholar to be the most objective one is always going to be criticized by someone from some position as actually being a political point of view or biased or not accurate. So that's the challenge, but if you're up to that kind of challenge, it even makes it more interesting and more enjoyable because it, 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 in, 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 in fact can make you a better teacher because you realize you have to always be on your toes. You can never relax. You can never assume that you can go to a course or teach a class without really having your information down and without really being very scrupulous in what you say. So in some sense being in a very politicized and highly criticized field can be very disconcerting to some people, but I think if, if you're up to the challenge, it can help make you a better teacher.